Hello, welcome to Pathognia. This is Jay. Today we are going to talk about endometrioid endometrial carcinoma. It's such a long name because when you have endometrial carcinoma, you can have several subtypes, including endometrioid, meaning it looks sort of like your endometrial glands. You can have clear cell, you can have serous carcinoma of the uterus, you can have mixed carcinoma of the uterus, which has features of endometrioid, serous, and clear cell. Today, though, we are going to talk about endometrioid, endometrial carcinoma. So here we have a postmenopausal bleeding, and transvaginal ultrasound showed most likely a thickened endometrial strike. So on this endometrial biopsy, what we want to see is the first thing we want to see is a gland stromal ratio. So as you can see here, it's less than one, right? There's less glands than your stroma here. And it kind of makes sense because this woman is postmenopausal. Your endometrium isn't active, and so you're not having your menstruation every month. But as you can see here, you can see cribiforming right kind of these sieve like spaces you can see meandering of the glands these glands that kind of never end and so this is endometrioid endometrial carcinoma your telltale features are kind of this cribiforming as well as meandering glands glands that just keep on going on and on and on when we see endometrioid endometrial carcinoma, you want to grade it. And on, this is a biopsy, so this would be a preliminary grade, but there's FIGO grade 1, FIGO grade 2, FIGO grade 3. Before I mention these grades, I just want to show you this component of a little bit of squamous differentiation. And the reason why I mention that is the definition of FIGO grade 1 is you have solid, less than 5% of solid non-squamoid growth. 5 to 50% is FIGO grade 2 of solid non squamoid growth. And FIGO grade 3 is greater than 50% of solid non squamoid growth. So this was FIGO grade 1. Here is FIGO grade 2. Um, again, we look at the gland stromo ratio. Here we have secretory glands, as you can tell by kind of the secretions and the vacuolizations. But amongst the background of secretory endometrium, this is fine, this is fine. You see this from low glands, it kind of looks like your stroma. But as you go closer, it looks like your secretory endometrium, but they're just all back to back. They have this solid growth, as you can see. And then in the edge, you can see maybe a little bit of glandular components here, right? So this was considered spigo grade two. Uh, it's greater than five to, but within 50% of solid non-squamoid growth. Here's another area of endometrioid, endometrial carcinoma. A little bit of solid growth maybe a little bit of cribiforming. Okay, now let's go to FIGO grade three. Now, from low glance, like we saw in our previous case, this kind of looks like stroma, but as you zoom in, this is all endometrium. This is all at your epithelium. So this is pretty bad grade. I mean, more than 50% of this is solid, uh, it's not squamoid growth. So this was considered FIGO grade three. Um, here you can see a mitotic figure, mitotic figure right back to back. So it's highly active. Um, just a couple more closing bits are, you wanna differentiate endometrioid, endometrial carcinoma from endocervical adenocarcinoma. The difference is endometrioid endometrial carcinoma comes from the endometrium of the uterus. Then you have your endocervical adenocarcinoma that comes from the cervix. And this is where IH immunohistochemistry stains can help. Endometrioid endometrial carcinoma will stain for 
ER, as well as vimentin. And then endocervical adenocarcinoma will stain for P16 and CEA. All right, well, here's the, there's a brief overview of endometrioid endometrial carcinoma. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.